This detention center in Aripo is where illegal immigrants and violators of this country's immigration laws will now be detained. National Security Minister Martin Joseph says it will provide accommodation in line with international standards for detainees. The operational arrangements being proposed for the IDC are designed in conformance with established international standards. These guidelines prescribe the requirements for humane detention consistent with respect for human dignity as required by the 1966 United Nations International Convention on Civil and Political Rights. In the past, illegal immigrants were housed at the maximum security prison. It placed added burdens on prison staff but was also in violation of international immigration laws and standards. What we did is that we put them in our best facility, which was the maximum security prison, best in terms of modern, etc. But the long run is it was still a prison and they're not required to be in a prison. So that this represents a, a very major step in terms of making sure that um, we house people. The detention center will be operated by immigration officers, detention officers and SRPs. Minister Joseph says the facility will also provide a better environment to screen these individuals either for deportation or other action. Minister Joseph is urging the immigration department to exercise greater vigilance, saying the country's prosperity attracts illegal immigrants. People are the increase in the number of persons who want to illegally come to Trinidad because of the prosperity that the country is enjoying. And as a result of that, we just have to be a whole lot more vigilant. Members of staff of the facility will be multilingual. The facility will be open 24 hours a day and detainees will begin moving in as soon as tomorrow. For CNC3, I'm Kamal Georges.